So, got two movies to review. I have Pompeii from 2014 and Watchmen Tales of the Black Freighter from 2009. So, <clears throat> I forgot I watched Pompeii. I did watch it years back. I didn't know it was so old. It's only from 2014. Like, Pompeii was damn good, but so short. Yeah, it was. If I had written it, the film would have been three hours with backstory going two years back before the end of the prestigious city. Yeah, I like backstory. Full character history, what life was like there, how Atticus became famed champion, why Corvus went after the Celts, Milo's life, all that jazz. Yeah, with the sexy saxophones. Or upbeat saxophones, I don't know. <laughs> Instead, it was a 98 film that jumped into the action, which is good in my opinion, because sometimes I hate the super slow buildup and didn't really explain enough. Yeah. It felt like something from 97 that was supposed to be fantastic, but ended up being poorly designed. 3.7 out of 5. So basically, 3, 7 out of 10. Yeah. It's good, but my version would have been a lot better. So, yeah. Did I enjoy the cast? Yeah. Cast was nice. I'm surprised it's from 2014. I thought it was like 2009. And that was crazy. Oh my. I am so fucking tired. Oh. Mm. Come on, where the fuck are you? <laughs> so many statuses, so much bullshit. <laughs> ah, there you are. Finished watching Watchmen, Tales of the Black Freighter. And it still holds up 13 years later. Yeah. Animation's fantastic. Story well done and pace beautiful. I loved it. It was so good. For being 25 minutes, that was gorgeous. Gerald Butler is phenomenal narrating. I put him in the same echelon as Rob Lowe. Both of them are highly underrated when it comes to narrating. Like, Rob Lowe narrated Salem's Lot back in 2004. The miniseries from TNT, that was really good. Uh, I do like it as a separate piece, but it also complements Watchmen's Ultimate Cut, too. Yeah, it's part of the Ultimate Cut. Like, if you watch that, the film goes from being three hours of awesomeness to... For three and a half to about four hours. Oof. Either way, it's worth the watch. Solid nine out of ten. I thought it was going to be mediocre, but a rewatch really changed my mind. Yeah. I was really surprised Zack Snyder wrote Tales of the Black Freighter. Like, that really surprised me. I mean, the animation just really blew me away. Like, crazy. Oh, <sighs> my, my. But yeah, so between the two of them, which was better? Short animation or short bad film? <laughs> I'm going to go with Tales of the Black Freighter for this one because Pompeii, while it was nice and had a great cast, lacked a lot of stuff. It just jumped right into the fucking fray. And it's like... <sighs> Whereas Tales of the Black Freighter kind of does the same thing but paces it a lot better. Oh, fuck. <sighs> Damn. And plus, with Tales of the Black Freighter, it plays intermittently between Watchmen itself, which is really nice. That's fun, too. It might be distracting to some people, but if you're a first-time viewer, it's something to really enjoy and behold. Uh, Pompeii... <sighs> you can... Give it a whirl, see if you like it. If not, that's totally fine. If you don't like any of these films, that's fine by me. I don't really give a fuck. If you hate DC, you hate whoever made Pompeii, I don't really remember. Um, I don't know, it was Kit Harrington's in it, so there you go, Kit Harrington. Woo. <laughs> um, and the fun part about that, that was 2014, so that was literally... That was, what, three years into... No, four years into Game of Thrones, actually. Crazy. I was like, how did he go from being so good as Jon Snow to somebody shit in Pompeii? I don't know. <laughs> <coughs> but some of them have budgets... Not budgets. Scheduling conflicts and shit, so they have to... You know, they want to make a little extra on the side while they're doing another project. 
it's fair. It's understandable. So, yeah. If you like historic films, check it out. Well, dramatic historical films. Um, if you like a good slow burner, like Tales from the Black Freighter, or of the Black Freighter, you'll have fun with this too. So, I'll be back with my uh, workout for today. Yeah, stay tuned.